Well, here's a long-awaited series. I've wanted to discuss Sly Cooper in greater detail on my channel for a long time. In fact, the first videos I ever made here were Sly Cooper related, and they've been pretty well received. So I've decided to dedicate this month to another overview special. Now, I figured that a proper special would need more than just four videos, so I will also be covering the Infamous series as well, and then Ghost of Tsushima when it comes out. So, I guess this is the Sucker Punch overview special. Taking a look at the one that started it all, this is Rocket, Robot on Wheels. This game was developed for the Nintendo 64 in 1999 during the time when 3D platformers were at their best. From the start, it has a very bright and bouncy charm which makes it aesthetically beautiful and fun, so I was intrigued to see what it was like. Now that I've checked it out, I can say that while it does have a few great elements to give it its own identity, it is also weighed down by a few expected flaws. The story is simple enough. The game takes place in Whoopi World, the happiest theme park in the galaxy, Disneyland be damned. So we meet our main character named Rocket, who only has one wheel, despite the title, and is tasked with looking after Whoopi World while the park's owner leaves for some party. The two mascots of the park are a walrus named Whoopi, whom the park is named after, and a raccoon named Jojo. Jojo escapes from his cage and kidnaps Whoopi, and plots to take over the park, as he is tired of never receiving any credit while his co-star takes center stage. With the park in disarray, it is up to Rocket to explore the park, find all of the missing tickets, and stop Jojo before it opens the next morning. Controlling Rocket is very responsive, as he has just the right amount of control in all of his jumps. Throughout the game, you collect these little tokens that you can trade with another character to unlock new abilities, such as a double jump and a freeze ray to create blocks of ice. Rocket can also use this sort of tractor beam to grab onto objects to throw, and swing from overhangs to reach new areas in a similar fashion to Sly Cooper. The game also has a lot of variety in its level design, and all of the themes are really creative. Even though this is supposed to take place in space or something, the levels never seem to match that. Sure, you have a carnival level and a monster level, but then you have areas based in ancient Rome, Arabia, Mayan temples, and caves with minecarts. I have an unresearched theory that this game may have intended to be about time travel at one point, because while the levels are fun, they don't really seem to fit with the overall theme. There's even a part where you have to teleport between two different points in time to traverse the level. There are also a lot of really cool and creative mini-games in the levels, such as this color blending game in the Roman level where you get to color your body in a way to match the guard, and a bunch of carnival themed games in the carnival level. My favorite is easily this roller coaster section where you actually get to build and ride a coaster in a way to collect the items hovering around the track. There are also a bunch of vehicle sections ranging from a magic carpet, to a tank that shoots paintballs, to a robotic dolphin that can swim. The main collectible in this game is tickets, and there are 12 in each level with letters A through L. All they really do is unlock the final ending, which brings me to my only major complaint. The game never truly feels finished until you collect everything because you don't get to see the end credits otherwise. I don't know, maybe that's just a nitpick, but I really think it should have been more of a bonus. Besides that, the game is pretty solid. While the combat is admittingly weak, the movement of the character feels responsive, the level designs are creative, and there is a ton of fun variety in the gameplay. If you can find it, I would give it a shot because even though it isn't the best platform game ever made, it is still a great time.